The long-awaited offensive to liberate Raqqa is underway. The Kurdish-led SDF has assembled a large force and the U.S. is providing air support and backing it with artillery and attack helicopters, as Pentagon spokesman Captain Jeff Davis explains. We're providing air support. We have coalition advisors on the ground that work with them. We have been equipping them directly. Uh, immediately before this operation began, we began uh, providing small arms, ammunition, mortars, armored uh, personnel carriers to this group to be able to, to successfully carry out this operation. So we're, we're providing supporting fires in doing this. What we do, in addition to providing airstrikes, uh, we like to be able to have persistent and, and quick, frankly, uh, ability to, to strike. And we can do that with uh, M777 howitzers. We do this with HIMARS, which are long-range rocket systems. And we can do this with uh, AH-1 Apache helicopters. Uh, they can be called in quickly. ISIS has moved key elements out of Raqqa, but it will still be a very difficult battle for the city. Well, we've seen over the past few months, I think ISIS has, has become aware that, uh, that the, the end was near in Raqqa, and they have moved out much of their bureaucratic and administrative functions. But there still are a lot of hardcore fighters that remain there. Uh, they have civilians that they've forcibly held in the city. Uh, and they have had plenty of time to put in booby traps, IEDs, uh, fire pits, tunnels. This is going to be a very difficult, uh, dense urban terrain battle that lies ahead. Turkey strongly criticized the U.S. for working with the YPG, but John Hanna, National Security Advisor to Vice President Cheney, and now Senior Counselor at the Foundation for the Defense of Democracies, disagrees. If the American military is not prepared to do it itself, I don't see any other allies either in Syria or in the neighborhood amongst our Arab allies or Turkish allies, frankly, who have the forces that are capable of going in and taking down the caliphate as quickly as our military and intelligence officials say needs to be done. Both former and current officials seem to agree that the YPG was the only option for the United States. As the operation to liberate Raqqa begins, U.S. officials see a difficult battle ahead. However, they are optimistic that in the end, ISIS will be defeated decisively. Lori Milroy, Kurdistan 24, Pentagon.